What's up guys, you're watching the Liked Sea Show for Cinder in Killer Instinct Season 2. So with the two final characters that have now been revealed for Season 1, it's time to move on to Season 2. With a lot of existing characters to cover, we start off with fan favorite Cinder. First off, we cover him with new design ideas and finish off with the ideas for special moves. So to get ideas for the new design for Cinder, let's look at what we currently have on him by checking out his original bio. So Cinder was originally a criminal that bought his freedom in exchange to become a test subject for Ultratech's chemical experiments. During these tests, something went terribly wrong and the accident left him to become a living being of fire. In order to be released from Ultratech, they gave him one last mission, and that is to win the Killer Instinct tournament and kill the icy alien Glacius. So based on this information, I came up with the idea that Cinder's chemical experiment kinda resembles the story behind Dr. Manhattan from The Watchmen. In the movie, he also becomes a supreme being because of an experiment that went wrong. So my guess is to kinda make him like Dr. Manhattan with flames. Another idea is to make him look like a lava rock character, mainly made out of rocks and cracks of lava to show the texture of his muscles throughout his body. For the second design, it would be cool if his instinct mode then inflames his body with lava, melting away the rock and recreating the rock as soon as his instinct mode runs out. For the first design, Cinder's body becomes one big flame making the texture of the muscles barely recognizable. So those were my ideas for the design. Now to move on to his special moves. In the original Killer Instinct, Cinder had the following moves. The Mini Torch, the Inferno, Trailblazer, Fire Flash and Invisibility. The Mini Torch was basically the Fist of Flames. Sadly, I don't think this is gonna make the cut as a special move. Next, we have the Inferno, Cinder's famous flamethrower. Although this move is cool, I think that it should be reduced to a shadow only move. And that the regular move is kinda like a fireball projectile. Then we have Trailblazer. I can't imagine Cinder without this move, so this one is definitely a keeper. The Fire Flash was basically his backflip kick. In my book, this is a keeper. And maybe we could make a, the mini torch move an anti-air move so the fire flash can be followed up by a fire fist in the air to smash your opponent to the ground. The last move is invisibility. This move had two versions, the full invisibility and the semi-invisibility. And this also teleported Cinder behind his opponent. I think the teleport is cool but I'm not sure about the invisibility. I mean, as invisibility in this version will become like Mortal Kombat's reptile. Is it still worth having? I don't really think so. But I can understand if others disagree with me on that one. Okay, that covers it for the things we like to see for Cinder and Killer Instinct Season 2. Be sure to subscribe to the Project Mystery channel because next week we will be covering TJ Combo so be sure to leave your thoughts on Cinder and TJ Combo in the comments below. Like the video if you did and share it with your friends to keep this discussion going. Thanks for watching, this is Cancer signing off.